Hey Canucks fans and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary on a night that saw the Vancouver Canucks go into Arizona and beat the Coyotes 4-3. I'm joined tonight by a magnificent minion, my lovely daughter, Kayla Marie. Hello. Kayla, tell everyone what you know about hockey. Nothing. Why don't you tell everyone what you know about the Vancouver Canucks? Nothing. Well, what do you know about staying up way past your bedtime? Everything. Well then what's your favorite part about going to a Canucks game? The cotton candy. But what about your favorite part about going to a Canucks game with your dad? The cotton candy. With today being Halloween, you can see that Kayla dressed up as a minion. Her brother Jacob dressed up as Russell from Up. Her mom, my wife, actually dressed up as a school student. And her eldest brother Sean dressed up as a guy recovering from a concussion. As for the Canucks, they dressed up a third string goalie in some pads, a jersey and a mask. And he went in and backstopped the team for his first win as a Vancouver Canuck. So as always, let's get to the good, the bad, and the ugly from tonight's game. As par for the course with the Canucks win, there are many good things. The first is the aforementioned Richard Bachman, who took care of business, see what I did there, and played well enough to earn his first win as a Vancouver Canuck. Rookie Jared McCann continued his strong play, potting his fifth goal of the season with a nice snipe from the slot. He's now played his Magic 9 games, so let's hope that the Canucks keep him with the big team and not send him down to a junior club. Also, Brendan Gaunt scored his first goal as a Vancouver Canuck. It wasn't the prettiest of goals, it went off his foot, but I'm sure he'll take it nonetheless. One bad thing stemming from tonight's game was the Canucks play in the second period. They were badly outplayed by the Coyotes, they were outshot 13-6, and they were outscored 2-1. In the big scheme of things, it wasn't a huge deal, but it was good that the Canucks got up to that early 3-0 lead. And one ugly thing from tonight's game was the Canucks defensive coverage in all three Arizona goals. All three goals saw the Canucks losing battles on the boards, being outmuscled to the puck, and on the third goal, carelessly trying to leave the zone too early. The Canucks will need to clean up that part of their game as they progress through the season. Now, let's get to Canucks in a word, where you send in your feelings on the Canucks or the Canucks game using just one word. And after much deliberation, I've decided that I'm not going to accept any submissions that have three, four, five, six, seven words crammed into one. These are all just going to be either one word or one of those tricky compound two word things. Phew! Yippee! Howitzer! Very good, Larry. Gritty! Dog gone! That's a good one, Tony. Phew! Roller coaster! Bumpy! It's kind of related, actually. Nerve wracking! Phew! Toolbox! And as Jason wrote, because they put on their hard hats and gloves and went to work to grind out a win. Survival! Angina! Kids! Regulation! The Canucks return home sitting atop the Pacific Division and they prepare to host the Philadelphia Flyers on Monday night. It's a special 20 and 20 night at Rogers Arena and they will celebrate the legacy of the Vancouver Grizzlies. Kayla, thanks a lot for joining me tonight and helping me out. You're welcome. Anything you want to say to the viewers of CCC? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching indeed. I invite you to follow me on Twitter at Canuck Clay and subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless and go Canucks go! go.